it is my 21st birthday. So I thought I'd make one of those poorly made, raw, uncut, low quality videos that pop up on your recommended at 3 a.m. If the YouTube gods show favor upon me, that is. Um, for starters, I want to go over how it feels to come into adulthood as a young man. I know everybody has seen those posts where the men are whining and they're like, oh, nobody cares about men and mental health. And, <laughs> and I'm here to tell you that that shit is 100% real. <laughs> that shit is 100% fact. From the moment you grow a little facial hair and you get a little height or you get a little muscle mass or you start to show any manly aspects, people will get people will give less of a fuck about you. And it's not because they don't care about you, it's not because they care about you any less per se. Is simply because they assume that you can fend for yourself now as a man, of course. Uh, there was this one time where I walked into the house. I live with my family. I walked into the house and everybody's at the dinner table and everybody's eating. And one thing I specifically remember was how big everyone's portion was. Like, these motherfuckers was eating good, I promise you. And, you know, I'm not one to ask for anything, and I didn't expect anything. So I was simply walking past, you know, trying not to look like a hungry beggar. Y'all know that one meme where it's like the ant with the hobo stick, and he's just like, like, I was trying not to look like that because I wasn't feeling like that. But then my dad looks at me and he goes like, oh, Chris is a survivor. He'll be all right. And, you know, first off, you damn right I'm a survivor. But that type of stuff makes you feel some type of way. That type of stuff makes you feel uncared for. You know? And it's that type of stuff that you're going to be dealing with for the rest of your life. You know, you, me personally, as a kid, I was a really cute kid. Had a really nice smile. Had one dimple. I still have my dimple. <sighs> but... You know, as a kid, everybody's like, you know, you okay? You need this, you need that, you need this. It's just projecting love upon you. But once you grow up, it goes from you need this, you need that, to you need to do this, you need to be that. You know, it goes from oh, how is how is this, how is that, to do you have a job and are you in school and what do you plan to do and this and that and don't get me wrong be on your shit be productive but same time it's like where's the love and I feel like that's the main idea of becoming a man where is the love where is the unconditional love as a man you're loved under condition that you can provide something. And that brings me to my final point. Um, my best advice to a young man, a young man, a young man leaping into adulthood is number one, find something that gives you worth. Find a skill, find a hobby, find a niche. Find something that gives you worth because as a man, you don't matter if you don't have one. It's fucked, but it's real. And 
and find a person that can give you love. Find worth and find love. That's just coming from me, a young man. You know, I know it's going to be some OGs like, yeah, this and that, this and that. But that's my first perception on becoming a man in society. You know, find that love, man. You're going to need it. You're going to need it. Wish me a happy birthday. I'm going to try to I'm going to try to have a good birthday regardless. I probably didn't get anything. Uh I'll probably just get sexy. Get sexy, hit the town. <laughs> All right, y'all. Yeah, have a good one.